This Wednesday, uh, Thursday afternoon, the trailer for the sequel to the acclaimed Disney distributed film of 2001, The Other Side of Heaven 2, was released just this week. Yeah, and the story continues the inspiring true saga of Elder John H. Groberg as he returns to the islands with his wife and his family to serve as president of the Tonga Fiji Mission. And with us today, we have Elder John Groberg as Emeritus General Authority of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, as well as the film's writer and director, Mitch Davis. Guys, thanks so much for being here to talk about this. Uh, this is a bit of a full circle. Nice of, to, to have you guys back and in such an interesting capacity where there is more of the story to be told. Thanks for being here. Did you ever think, you know, as a young missionary, that, that you would have this sort of experience where you, you were ending up on the big screen? Not once, but twice. <laughs> never. Never, no. No, it didn't even enter my mind. What is it like telling this story, Mitch, uh, going through and, and learning about someone's life and trying to do that accurately, to portray it and, and give it uh, the reverence it deserves? There are few people in the world that I love and respect as much as Elder Groberg, and that mm. has only grown the closer I've gotten to know him and his family. So it's a big responsibility, and when I made the first movie, the hardest part was cutting stuff out because there oh. was so much good stuff to tell and it's just a great blessing to be able to come back and take another drink from the same well. Now, as we look at this film you, and as you watch it, what do you want people to take away from it? Well, I haven't seen the second film. You haven't yet. seen oh, really? it. So, surprise to it, you. It'll be a surprise to me too, although I'm sure it'll be a good surprise because I trust Mitch. and. Uh, they, uh, when they got permission, or at least, I guess you'd call it permission, from the First Presidency, they just said, stick close to the book. <laughs> so I trust he's going to stick close to the book. I think it'll be, I think it'll be great, just knowing Mitch and knowing. And the, the main story, I think, is just that of faith and of prayer and of uh, family. And it's, uh, it's very, uh, it's just real life. It's just what happened among a faithful people. Not all of them were members of the church by any means, but there's a lot of good people who aren't members of the church that have a lot of faith and, and pray and so forth. So that, that's really the main thing is just to go away with a greater desire to pray, and increase your faith and strengthen your family. Well, that's wonderful. Mitch, I, I know a lot of people will have seen the first. What can they expect from the second installment here? Character similarities? Uh, what is there? Yeah. Is there anything new that they may be able to look forward to? Well, Christopher Gorham is back as Elder Groberg, and a few of the other actors from the original film are back. Um, the main difference is that Elder Groberg was a bachelor in the 1950s <laughs> when he went to the first Tongan mission, and he comes back with a wife and five little daughters. Wow. Uh, when he has a second mission. So it's a similarly grand epic adventure and a spiritual odyssey, but this time with uh, a family in tow. Where can we see the film? Uh, the film is going to be nationwide uh, next spring, summer. Uh, and it's going to be, it's not going to be just a regional release. It's going to be coast to coast, uh, probably uh, first week in June. Uh, Elder Monson makes a cameo appearance in this movie. Really? Yeah, yeah. We're that, we'll more about that later, but uh, it's 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 going to be a fun film. Well, that is just wonderful, gentlemen. Thanks so much for being here and telling us a little bit about the other side of heaven too. Uh, set for a national release uh, early of 2019. We can't wait to see it, guys. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having.